SEC baseball is back. And we've got the conference opener for both the Auburn Tigers and the number four Ole Miss Rebels. Spring might start tomorrow, but we've got a chilly night here at Swayze Field in Oxford, Mississippi. There you see Hoagland getting ready to finish his warm-up tosses, the junior from Hudson, Florida. He's got some nice numbers already leading the nation in strikeouts. What are you looking for out of Hoagland? He is indeed the gun show. It's hard to say more of the same from a consensus first round pick, but Hoagland is going to work off that fastball and he has an elite level command, seven to one strikeout to walk ratio, which is unbelievable. That slugging percentage jumps out at you too at 800, especially this far into the season. There's strike three. And Hoagland strikes out the side, and he strands the two Tigers. Back here in Oxford, Cody Greenhill. Starting tonight for the Auburn Tigers, the senior from Russellville, Alabama. He has been terrific as well this year. A sparkling 1.88 earn run average. Hit by pitches. He's sixth nationally, second in the SEC. There's a bouncer to the left side. Auburn looking for two, and they get it. Really tough to to pick, really tough to pick it up when he buries it like that. It's a really nice fastball on the outside part of the plate to put Williams away for the second time. He's got seven Ks on the day. Bouncer up the middle, Gonzalez behind the bag. will take care of Howell and the Tigers. Gonzalez struck out looking to end the second inning. And Gonzalez sends one deep to right. And making the catch was Bryson Ware. He stole a home run. Just monster numbers out of Stephen Williams. Nine home runs away from top 10 in program history. And a wave and a miss. Another strikeout for Gunnar Hoagland. That's number 10. There's a liner to left, a base hit for Chatagnier, just the second hit of the night for Ole Miss against Greenhill. Swing and a miss. Hoagland strikes out the side. Butch Thompson as a pitcher at Amory High School. And there's a smash to right field, and that's going to get past the right fielder Ware. Extra bases for Dunhurst. They will hold Elko at third. And the Rebels with their first extra base hit of the night against Cody Greenhill. And Williams sends one to Plumley, And Plumley will take care of Williams. And another zero on the scoreboard. And here's Joseph Gonzalez. Butch Thompson going to Gonzalez who's making his eighth appearance of the season. Still no decisions, got a nice ERA of 2.61. And Harris gives it a ride to deep right field, and this one is out of here. Calvin Harris, a pinch hit, solo home run. And the Rebels have scored here in the bottom of the eighth. What a piece of hitting by Calvin Harris. And here's Taylor Broadway making his sixth appearance of the season. He's 3-0. and ERA a little over three and a half. He's got 13 strikeouts in 10 innings, only three walks. That's when they had two in scoring position with nobody out. But there's a pop-up. Chatagne makes the play, and there's one out here in the top of the ninth. Broadway's going to go back there again. Swing and a miss. And Broadway strikes out Dial. And that does it. Ole Miss starts SEC play with a dramatic 1-0 win. Thanks to Gunnar Hoagland, he went eight. He was spectacular. And then Broadway closes the deal. The fans are back. SEC baseball is back. Dominant pitching was back. Long balls, we got it all tonight. What a treat that game was to open SEC play in the 21 season. And so Calvin Harris, the first Rebel to hit a pinch hit home run since Kevin Graham on March 6th last year against Princeton, and that was the difference. And with that, we will put a bow on our coverage here tonight. So for Matt McLaughlin, I'm Will Colmeyer saying so long from Oxford.